Hi, it's Glenn Fox, and I'm glad that you're here. Today, I'm going to show you uh, a series of paintings that I did that they were okay. They just weren't what I wanted. They, they, they didn't fulfill me. And, and you guys know I'm changing in my art, trying to get looser, trying to get freer, trying to, trying to trust. And trust is a hard thing for artists and we all have to work on that. But I did a painting of floral. And I had one intention, turned it to another, and said, I don't like it. What it did is I went back to exactly what I've always done. It was safe. And then I'll show you what I did. But you know, in the last video, I had a breakthrough because I added the black. And if you haven't seen that one, please go back and see that because it's worth it. So let's get to the images of what, <laughs> of what I did and then what I changed. And if you've followed me, you know that this is pretty much a common pattern. Is it a common pattern for most artists? You know, I don't know. But I bet the image and the painting changes over time. It, it becomes, its own entity, and you see things that you didn't see before, and you want to change that, and you change this, and all of a sudden, the painting has changed. Here it is. Here's the drawing. I've just gamsoled down some oils, done the drawing in, and uh, I like the design. Then I add more paint. I don't know if this is going to be a serene piece or not, but I'm getting some good color underneath so I can have a glow. And the glow is different. It's, I mean, you know, that makes a difference. Then I come in and I do this. And I got to tell you, and looking back, this is the piece that I like the most. Why? It was fresh. It was done. And I, I think if it's too early, we think it's not worth it. That, but of course, then I move on. I am determined to get this piece, what I have in my brain. I want to paint it. I'm, I'm going to town on this. It's looking soft. This is what I wanted. And then I decide, okay, well, maybe I just need to do some more drips. I need to this. And I look at it and I think, this is insipid. It looks terrible. I'm done with this. I've gone back to where I used to paint. I'm going to add more color. And so I add some bright magenta, orange, and, uh, you know, red, and so forth. And I'm thinking, okay, I like that. That's fine. And if I like a little bit, maybe I like even more. So I add more. And I think, wow, this is getting to be quite the dynamic piece. I'm kind of liking this. And so then I say, well, I've got to kind of go back and do my what I really wanted it to look like. And so I do. And then I realize when that upper flower is not good, it's round. You don't do round flowers. What are you going to do? You add a, I've added a shape. Now I decide, well, maybe it needs a stencil. And so I pull out a stencil. Do you hear my desperation here? I am trying to make something work that is not going to work. Not the way it was. So I said, you know what? I'm putting this aside. And I thought, nope, I'm going to make this into an abstract. So here we are. First image I've taken of this abstract. I'm sorry I didn't do it earlier, but I've decided black is probably my friend. It jars me. I like the diagonal on the right-hand side. I think that's really very, I mean, I like it. I, at the end, it's not going to be quite as strong, but I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, now I need to make my center of interest just a little bit more distinguished. So with that said, I go in and I do a little line work. Now you can see there, it's very faint and I've drawn a area around 
the center of interest. Then I realized, well, the area on the right of this has to be a little different value to bring out the white of the center of interest. So that's what I do. And I work really hard trying to get the right value of that. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm, I'm liking this. This is, this is not bad. I'm, I think it's good. So then I add even more black. I add some more lines. Uh, I'm, I'm tweaking it. I'm trying to bring it together and bringing it, bring some excitement into this. I like my center of interest. I like what it is. And I'm going to show you a close up of the line work in that because to me, the line work makes it. It really brings it up to another level. And this is the line work. I just merely scratched into it. Uh, it's oil. So I just scratched into it, made some line work. The line work on the right was done with a pencil, but it works. It works. It's entertainment when you get to that. And as I said, you got to have entertainment. You got to have eye candy. Give me eye candy at the center of interest. So now this is the final piece as it is today. Will it change? It may. But right now I'm liking it. I'm thinking this is what I wanted. And I'm happy. Well, as you can see, it went from a floral, calm, peaceful, to a very vibrant floral that I thought was kind of okay, but not great, all the way to an abstract. And quite frankly, I like the abstract much better. I don't know what you think. You let me know what you think. But I learned a lot. I learned a lot in that, and, I, and what I learned was trust what you're doing. If you're lost, that's great, that's fine. Scrape it off. Get, get in your head what you want again and go for it. But don't give up as an artist because this is the path. It's a path that you've chosen and I've chosen, and it's the best path in the world. But take a little tidbit from this and move it into yours and see if it's a change that you can do. If you want a change, I think we're all ready to grow. I will see you in the next video. I love you. Bye-bye.